alive. So there's only two things that you need to do. One, don't get a flu shot. Actually, don't get any shot. And two, don't stay in your house. You ought to be outside getting sunlight and fresh air if you want your body to run optimally and not need to undergo a viral detoxification. There is something else you can do actually, and that is to turn off your TV and your social media. And I did make this video to help to bring some common sense and start relieving some of that fear and stress. So I won't go too far into what's really going on with this worldwide pandemic. By the way, who's verifying these deaths? Like who's actually counting these deaths? And who's actually verifying that the deaths that do occur aren't from any standard flu, which by the way, flus kill half a million to a million people every year. Every year. It only affects the weak. And if it's not a natural virus that's happening within your own body for beneficial purposes, the only way you can get that is to have an injection. So instead of thinking you're doing the right thing by using all the correct words like COVID-19 and self-isolating and social distancing, and instead of staying indoors like a self-indulgent cactus, washing your hands like it's going out of fashion and humping doorknobs, farting in bathtubs, laughing your ass off, and dictating to other people what they should be doing with their lives when perhaps they're just immune to media. So guys, if you're doing that, then you're not actually helping anything. What you're really doing is you're laying down you're bending over, you're spreading your legs, and you're letting the long arm of the system get itself shoulder deep inside of you. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Most people have no idea about how the world works, certainly don't have any idea about how the mind and body works. And there are some things going on that, you, if this goes down the way people are letting it go down, you can say goodbye to what you have left of your rights and freedoms in this world. So if that's been you, Pull your finger out, get outside, do normal things, watch the streets and watch what's going on out there. Because if you're sitting in your house, counting the number of days in your social isolation, counting death tolls like it's a fucking Olympic medal tally on the TV, you are literally paving the way to losing your rights and freedoms and you're gonna come out of your house with less than what you had when you went in. And I'm not just talking about baked beans and toilet paper. You don't buy that? That's Sean Penn, 2001, I am Sam. Remember? Went full retard. Went home empty handed. I'll leave you with one bit of friendly advice, and that is to start using your own mind. Because if you don't use your own mind, someone else is going to use it for you, and it's not going to be to your benefit. So I hope that helped. And if anybody has any real questions, and they don't have something to say like, I don't agree with that, then I'm happy to do Q&As. Um, if I don't get real questions, I'm more than happy to just play guitar and do my own thing. So I hope that helped, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.